I told every manager I could for six months about the fire door for half the building being blocked. Got in trouble for telling the site manager at an all-hands meeting we're all going to die in a fire and the company's going to be liable. The looks on their faces. Funny how fast it got fixed, even though half the factory floor needed to be moved around a bit. My manager knew the problem and told me not to speak up in the meeting but f her, I'm not selling my co-workers safety to make her life a little easier. I got scolded by my district manager when I called to tell him I was closing the store early because the power went out. He told me we should stay and clean and wait for the power to come back on, and I basically said I wasn't gonna stay and clean in the dark. I called back a few minutes later to tell him the power went out because the mall was on fire. And he told me to wait to see if the fire department was going to let people back in. I laughed and said I already sent my associates home and was gonna go home too. When I was a server, I drew a whimsical unicorn on a table's receipt, and the couple left me a nice tip. One of the other servers complained, so the GM had to tell me to stop drawing unicorns on customers' bills. I obviously continued to rebel. Sorry to do prompt Twitter, but what's the wildest reason you've ever gotten in trouble at work? I wrote an email with some font and bold, keywords in a bullet point list of instructions. A MTG was called about fonts. My font choice was too aggressive, one of the recipients felt intimidated. I was then instructed to think like Michelle Obama before I write future emails. I had a contract terminated because I asked for a terminal clean on two COVID rooms in a at Dignity Hilthizer. Emergency OSHA rules, at the time, did not permit firing based on infection control concerns. Contract terminated when I got home. They called it insubordination. I was taking a patient outside for the first time in three years, in a wheelchair with an oxygen tank. We were in a garden that belonged to Catholic nuns, and he asked me to steal some apples for him because he was hungry. I did it. Security was called but we escaped. No regrets. Summer job in college landscaping a new amusement park. One Friday they told us they couldn't make payroll. Most of us worked paycheck to paycheck. I got about about 80% of workers to stop work. We got paid. A week later I got fired. Received hero treatment at my college. I was a software engineer on a government contract. In a requirements meeting, I noted a newly requested feature might be problematic. See, it violated an agreement with multiple other countries. The PM was big mad that I didn't want to create an international incident. Boss. Someone told me you were sleeping at your desk. Me. What? Oh someone must have taken me. Literally when I said, I'm asleep at my desk, and then got some caffeine. B. So you're calling your coworker a liar? Me. No. I'm sure it's just a misunderstanding. B. You're lying. I was in a school meeting, one of the teachers showed signs of a stroke. While others hemmed hawed thinking she had a migraine, I gave a stroke test. She failed. I grabbed my cell and called 911. I got in trouble for not using the school's office phone and it really was a stroke. My old Samsung tablet was slightly bigger than the iPad of boss's teenage son. Boss exploded because I forced him to buy his son a new iPad because of how it looks when a lowly employee has nicer things. Same boss made me park far away because of my old poor person car. I worked in pharmacy. An elderly lady with poor eyesight asked me to cut her pills in half for her, insurance made her take half a 40 mg tab instead of a full 20 mg tab. She'd already paid for them, so I split them for her. It took less than two minutes. My boss was furious. Customer asked for a sugar-free version of our off-brand frap. I made them one. New supervisor got mad BC it wasn't on the menu. Said I came up with the recipe last year for diabetic customers, and district manager said it was okay. Got fired end of shift. Got a call from my boss early morning, after I closed the night prior. He was yelling at me for not putting the cash in the safe and stealing it. He didn't let me talk. Two hours later he called again, his wife had taken it out. He didn't apologize, just let me know I didn't steal it. I was 18, and a cashier, and was 4 cents short on my drawer. The manager wrote me up and was going into this whole elaborate scheme that I wasn't ringing items in and stealing, and I'm like I gave someone a nickel instead of a penny chill out. 
I took a sandwich that had been thrown away out of the garbage to eat it because I was very poor and had only eaten rice and a can of tuna that week. It was in the wrapping. Thrown out because past sell-by date. I was fired for stealing. I was fired for being very sick. I had a drawn-out issue with vertigo which lead to a lot of fatigue, extreme weight loss, brain fog, couldn't drive safely. I went to my boss several times asking for support and was told to do my job or lose it. I lost it. About 30 years ago, when I worked at McDonald's in Leeds the store was fully evacuated due to a bomb scare and the management were properly disgruntled when we, min wage grill monkeys, refused to go back in to look for it. Limping in to get my check after a back injury that made it so I could not work for a few days you can come for your check, but not 8 hours quarreling children, yes, Janice, the human body does not stop needing to eat when you are injured. I didn't turn up for work and got a long 5 minuit rant about how I'm selfish and ignorant and don't think of anybody but myself, I've let everyone down, I'm ashamed to my mother, etc. The problem was that I didn't work there. Our patient was bleeding out in the or, and I yelled at a guy to stop mopping and run to the blood bank. He had me written up for hurting his feelings because I raised my voice. The surgeon and nurse manager were like. Got yelled at for leaving work on time on my wedding anniversary instead of staying late hours again to do someone else's unfinished work. And that NGO couldn't figure out why employees left to work elsewhere. Asked to apologize to someone because they were offended I did not talk to them while I was in the bathroom. They were also in the bathroom. Interstall convo is weird and should be shamed. I'm not sorry. Individuals at my former company spread lies that I send a nude image to a coworker on Snapchat. Although the colleague ultimately admitted lying, I was still fired. I took them to court for wrongful dismissal and won. It's a tie between X sitting on the floor to stock a floor level shelf. And X wearing the same style of skirt and tights as my coworkers, but having a bigger butt will doing so. God, do I not miss retail. I invited people from different departments at a large science museum to eat our lunch together. The director was furious, told me it could not continue because it might start something. I was told that having my button up shirt untucked was unprofessional. So the next day I came to work with a tucked in sweater. Apparently sarcasm is also unprofessional. Wore jeans on blue jean Friday, but my boss said I hadn't earned that right yet. That was 16 years ago, and I have refused to work for a large company with B at office politics ever since. I accidentally started a trend in the veterinary industry, where we all injected testicles, after neutering, with various fluids to see if we could make them bounce. Didn't raise my hand to ask permission to go to the bathroom. They knew I had the stomach flu and was working anyway cause they didn't give me time off. I asked for a room that didn't have a glass door so I could use my breast pump postpartum. You would've thought I asked for a Lambo. I was told it was unprofessional of me to push my glasses up my face when they slid down. At an office job. Not really the worst thing from that job, but still. My boss heard me through the bathroom door taking two paper towels from the automatic paper towel dispenser, working at a restaurant. I asked about their illegal payroll practices while I was getting trained on how to implement them. Was fired a week into the job. Sued. Settled for an amount that let me stay fian employed for quite a while. My son, 9 at the time, had to get emergency brain surgery and I was written up because I missed work. Doctor's note and all. Taking unscheduled leave to attend a funeral. Gotta hopefully next time you will choose us during my write-up too. I put money in a student's lunch account. Cafeteria workers told on me. I was written up by my principal. I got fired after I told my executive director my manager was forging signatures for grant money. Being happy. I was smiling too much. Boss took me in the office and asked if I were on drugs. I got fired from my job because a psychic said my energy interferes with her ability to read people. I got fired because my stalker boyfriend wouldn't stop hanging around my work. I peed too often, so they told me to stop drinking so much water. Sorry to do prompt Twitter, but what's the wildest reason you've ever gotten in trouble at work? Breathing in a disrespectful manner. Sighing.
I literally got in trouble for sighing. Subscribe for daily update.